Hey guys, it's Friday today and I haven't vlogged in about five days. We've had a pretty busy schedule and we're coming uh, back to the villa very late at night so I couldn't really vlog but we're having a relaxing day here at the villa so I decided to do some catching up and tell you what we've been doing for the past few days and I'll start with Sunday. On Sunday after breakfast half of us stayed here at the villas and half of us went um, rafting down the Ayung River. I didn't go because I am not an adrenaline junkie and I saw some terrifying clips on YouTube so I chickened out but my sister went and apparently it was really nice. The river is divided into two parts I guess and one of them is really wild and crazy and the other one is more calm so uh, my sister went down the calm route <laughs> but yeah I didn't go because I thought it would be too crazy for me also there are 500 slippery steps to get down to the river um, and I have some knee problems and I shouldn't actually be even walking up or down the stairs so I decided to skip that and save my knee um, but yeah my sister took my GoPro camera with her and um, ended up with some really nice footage. They stopped with the rafting. They stopped at the um, buffet lunch, I guess. And my sister actually got food poisoning there, so she's been sick for the past four days. But today she's finally doing better, so it's all good. The rest of us who stayed here at the villas um, were either just chilling around or went to get a massage. I already told you that I am not into this kind of stuff. I told everyone around me that I didn't want to get one countless of times, yet my parents still forced me to. And it was the worst experience ever. The man first started massaging my legs, which was all right, I guess. But then he moved over up to my butt area. He started squeezing my butt and doing I don't know what, but it was extremely uncomfortable and also very painful. I actually stopped breathing a couple of times during the massage because of the shock, I guess. I don't know. It was just horrible. And then he moved over to my upper body and he massaged my back, which was even more painful. Oh, and I also had to strip in front of him. I know that you have to be pretty much naked when you go get a massage, but um, everyone who did get one before here in our villas um, had a two-piece bathing suit, like most normal people do. But I'm a plus-size girl and I don't have any two-piece bathing suits um, so yeah I was wearing a one-piece and when he went on to massage my back of course I had to take my swimsuit off and I had one tiny piece of fabric left on my butt but then when he went on to massage my um, lower body again he removed that tiny piece of fabric as well i was absolutely mortified and in pain i have no idea how people find massages relaxing because that was far from relaxing and after the massage i actually had a panic attack luckily i didn't freak out in front of the man who gave me a massage but after I was done, I went to the bathroom, sat on the shower room floor and hyperventilated for about 20 minutes. And then my parents were also making fun of me, which was not helpful at all. Um, you know, they... Uh, well, that was embarrassing. Someone just vlogged on me vlogging. Um, but what I was talking about is that, yeah, my parents were making fun of me because they obviously have no idea what panic or anxiety attacks are and they just think I'm a drama queen. So I was not only freaked out after the massage, but also um, really pissed off, to be honest. And then after that, we had a group photo shoot here at the villa, so you can only imagine how I looked like on the photos. Yay. Then in the afternoon, we luckily went to my happy place, to the beach. Um, we went to a beach called 
Echo Beach, I think, and I loved it. I went swimming, or shall I say, fighting with the waves, because they're really huge and you couldn't really swim there, but um, we had a lot of fun, or at least I did. And I loved the whole vibe there at the beach. It was very, I don't know, Hawaii meets Australia, and it made me miss Australia so bad. I wish I could just go there after Bali, because it's really close, and I don't want to go home. Um, but yeah, I love the vibe there um, and there was also the most gorgeous sunset I've ever seen. It was truly breathtaking and I took some wonderful photos. After the sun went down we went to the buffet style restaurant right by the beach. Um, I ate seafood kebab I think was called um, and also fresh pineapple juice. It was really yummy and there was live music. And again, I love the vibe and I wish I could stay there for ages. So that was everything we've been doing on Sunday. I'll finish this vlog here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!